Wait, so... But you... But... Call an ambulance. That come out of you? Yeah, your toy! He'll be okay. Welcome to Z's Toy Box. I'm Z. A G is me. And today we're bringing you Flush Force. This is made by Spin Master. It's quite interesting because it's an actual little toilet that apparently there is some sort of flushy, some sort of monster creature inside. This takes itself way too seriously. Flush Force. Hear the call to flush them all. Flush to reveal technology. Oh, this is gonna be entertaining. It's for ages four and up. I mean, if we need to, I will get real plunger. Again, we don't know what we're doing. This is an adventure for you and for us. So let's get it a little closer. All right, so here we are with a close-up of our flush force. And me destroying everything. So let's get these blister packs open. So that's just packaging. Spin Master's number. Direction. Meh. Ah, you just throw everything oh. everywhere. I'm gonna put everything nicely in here. Oh my god, there is a ton of these. We'll put everything in here nicely. Followed by and even then more on the back. I'm gonna throw it. Those are all the flushies you can collect. We and, and you forgot Wee. that too. So it looks like I got, I mean, the one that we could see was a Venus flytrap kind of monster. Two and you have your snake. And then there's a, a creature in a lunch bag? I have the angriest toothbrush. And then just some sort of like little cute ant creature. Upside down ice cream cone? It looks like the back does come off like, you know, when the chain comes off your toilet. Step one. Um, fill with water, step two, shake up, step three, rip off that seal. Oh, because when I shake it, I'm going to make a mess. Wait, yeah, so we're going to see what happens when you don't follow the instructions. That's our show. You're in charge of that. So we're going to put the top, oh, oh. Yeah, see, I think that's why the seal is oh. supposed to stay on. Well, now we can see the inside action of the seal. Oh, look at it wiggle. Ew, I think we can safely say this toilet is clogged. Oh wait, something's rising to the top. I want to touch it. Oh. This reminds me of our friends, the trash bag bunch. Yep, there's two in there. Oh. I see another. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a little puffer fish. Oh, it's really clogged. Gotta really get in there. All right, ew. Possibly a porcupine with a one way sign stuck to its back. Now, we'll let G do it the right way. Do you want my dirty toilet water? I don't see why not. We're eco friendly and saving water. And now, pop that on. Yeah. So, the best way to unclog a toilet mm. is to rip it off the ground and <laughs> shake it upside down. Um, is, is that a. Oh, it's a parking meter. This guy. Oh, here's, a, here's the tummy troubles. Yeah. We're gonna call the plumber and see if we can get this mess cleaned up. And, well, just to show you what we just pulled out of our tiny little toilets. So the Flush to Reveal technology does mention that there's different teams, the dump divers, the mean munchies, the putrid parts, mean greens, clean freaks, foul floaters, ew, street freaks, squirming vermin, gruesome twosomes, scuzzy fuzzies, in grim grubs. Now, you end up with these cute little creatures, which the molding is actually fairly good. And the paint, I mean, it's not the best paint apps, but at least I've seen toys like these where it just comes in one color. Yeah. They've at least made the attempt to put some detail in here. Oh my God, that is a sparky lunch bag. But then you have the fact of, you now have a little plastic toilet. What do? I imagine most people throwing these away, but that would be wasteful. So we thought we'd just do the legwork for you and get out a variety of action figures and put them on the toilet. So here we're bringing you. Oh my God, they definitely be hanging out. Yeah, the over. Oh, Look, no. get it. Get it. Oh no! Oh get no! It. Shows what we're done with those toys. We're gonna play with our own figures anyway. So here you have the average six-inch scale 
figure. He's very, obviously one of the legends because X-Men, everybody. Um, but I gotta say, not an awful fit. I mean, there could be some better positioning. Cyclops and Wolverine, as you've never seen them before. Or maybe you have, and I don't wanna know about it. Now, we're just grabbing random things that we like and we're gonna put them on the body, like Young Sonic. Oh, Shredder, he's gonna fall in. Oh man, this is his grasping for the toilet paper that's just out of reach. Now, bringing you, who remembers Gargoyles? Morgan, from Darkstalkers. Now, with these powerful thighs, um, as you can tell, he's gonna have he to straddle. Sit, sit sideways. Oh yeah, reverse grip. <laughs> this is, Mewtwo has had a night. One that he probably cares not to remember. You can still, with the little finagling Fusro Da, the plumbing. One thing that Skyrim lacked. Usable restrooms. Any My City Monsters fans out there? Oh my god, he fits. Singing in the bathroom with Entbrat and Kratos. Kratos is not happy about the guy in the stall next to him. <laughs> I'm thinking one more verse from him and Kratos is going through that bathroom stall and Entbrat will never be seen again. And for our Transformers fans, Beast Wars! I mean, they were kind of biological, so we'd have to assume at some point the robots may even have to, you know, use the restroom. And now I hope he at least puts his Gatling guns down to wash his hands afterwards. And then you have the Bayonetta action figure. Her legs are too long for her to Her legs are too long for anything. But I love her so much. Oh, she's like, oh. This is a rough one. And he's just waiting for the next guy to barge into the stall. Rhinox likes his privacy. Well, there you have it. A nice little overview of a variety of action figures that you could possibly use this toilet for. Ew, do you remember the movie Ghoulies? But all I remember as a kid going to the video store and from the box was these little monsters coming, yes, ew, like that, oh. out of the toilet, front and back. And I was scared to use the toilet for Probably weeks. You know movies aren't real, right? Mm, I'm pretty sure it was a documentary. I'm pretty sure it was like narrated by David Attenborough. These would have fit in the mid 90s. It, it was definitely reminded me of like the 90s gross out toys, like the Trash Bag Bunch, the Mad Balls, Garbage Pail Kids. Do you want to sit on the tiny potty door? It's like, no, I have a litter box for that. <gasps> or series two could be litter, little litter boxes that come and you have to dig through the, it's like that foam sand and you have to dig through it and little litter goblins come out. Why are we not yeah. making this? I'd say overall, this was a win. We got a bunch of cool little figurines. Not poseable or do anything, but the actually the process of getting them out was to add water, the green slime. I mean, the water turned like neon, which was kind of cool. But make sure you check us out next time for more random finds, random mysteries, and who knows what else? More Guess plumbing related else. horrors. Sure, what should people do if they want to see more of this channel? Like and subscribe. It's up to G. Thor's busy. Like and subscribe. See more of him, because you never know when he's going to show up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Um, Thor, um, Thor, that's my foot. Oh, okay. Thor's getting in the spirit of things and throwing things just like we do. Never, but... Oh. Excuse you. It's time your toilet's not running right. Just think. These could be the reasons why.